G'day, my name's Matthew and I'd like to welcome you to a new series for the CO2 laser users. A few videos in this series have already been released, so I thought that this introduction might come a bit late, but it's best to introduce you to the series properly and explain what it's about and what you're going to expect in future episodes. There are some other great resources and tutorials out there on the internet, and it's not my intention to reinvent the wheel, nor to imply that the way I demonstrate them is the best or the only way to do things. So this series was requested by CloudRay Laser and Ruida to provide laser machine users in English with an introduction to some of the features of Ruida motion controllers and their associated software, as well as some of the accessories. Um, I'm going to be communicating with Ruida and CloudRay throughout the series to provide you with the most up-to-date information available to me. The software I use with my uh, laser controllers is Lightburn software, which can be purchased directly from lightburnsoftware.com. Unlike RDWorks, Lightburn software is not only for Ruida controllers, so a list of compatible controllers is available on their website. And Lightburn software is also available at cloudraylaser.com. The software that I will be focusing on in this series will be RDWorks, and RDWorks is free to use and is designed for the Ruida controllers. But I also try to include some of the Lightburn software features where it's applicable. RDWorks can be downloaded free from rd-acs.com, CloudRay Laser's website, uh, and also mwlaser.com.au. To start with, this series will be aimed at the beginner to help get you up and going with your new laser machine. However, I hope that even the more experienced laser users will be able to get something of value from these videos. So just to list a few of the topics that I'll introduce, they include a quick guide on how to initially use the laser controller, a guide to some of the toolbars and features in the software, how to set the cut layer parameters and how to store some of those parameters in the parameter library and retrieve them from the library, how to import and export the software configuration for backing up and restoring your controller. And also we'll look at uh, some of the grayscale and 3D engraving and uh, how to optimize the laser cut paths and so on. In future videos, I'll also introduce some of the CloudRay lasers accessories for the Ruida controllers, such as the RD Wi-Fi and the wireless controller. I'll also be introducing some of the other Ruida controllers and have a look at some of their features and the operation of those. Now for additional resources, you should visit Ruida website at rd-acs.com, um, CloudRay Lasers website, as well as MW Lasers, and I'll put a link to those websites in the description below. Now to keep updated with the series and other laser videos, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I release new videos. And until next time, take care, cheers.